Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Today I have in my shop this beautiful, like a pristine 2000 Toyota Sienna. This baby looks very shiny. The owner likes to maintain her properly. And you will not believe, looking on outside, you will not believe she has a 205,000 miles. He brought her for two different problems. One of them was electrical and it was fixed without filming. The other problem, number two, on the list was this. He said he spotted in his driveway coolant on the concrete and there was missing coolant in the expansion tank in that reservoir which is on the wall in the engine bay I will show it to you so when I finish the electrical I just put her on the lift start her up and lift her up like this the engine was running warming up and I am assumed when he lost so much because it was like half quart that I will see traces of the coolant right this one doesn't have a super long life it's just Toyota long life so it's the red one but still you will expect to see some little trace where the coolant was but I had her running here for 15 minutes I was underneath and there was absolutely nothing I confirmed that the water pump is running how you check that well you in the cabin you put the fan on max and put the heat on max and you need to have that circulation there needs to be hot air coming out of the vents which confirm yes the water pump there is no problem I looked on all these shields where the water pump is if there is possibly any leak but there was absolutely nothing now you see a water here and I will explain why you see it. that's a water it's not a leak from the the coolant leak but because that didn't work I used the alternative method and that method brought the fruits immediately basically if you look with me right here next to that bolt there is a coolant you see a droplet of the coolant it's exactly that red one it's coming from here this guys was completely dry there was nothing here before and the engine was running it was hot it was pressurized but it will not show anything I looked underneath this engine so many times I walked around I was like okay I don't want to do the pressure test but I have to and now I will show you how to perform it and why I was kind of hesitant because I didn't want to deal with the cowl so the tool you use is right here you buy yourself a pressure test and vacuum town type coolant refill kit so that will be for German vehicles when you are refilling the coolant you have to pull the vacuum so that that's it but basically for me for today I will show you what is up in the engine bay I removed when the engine finally got cold I removed the cap radiator cap but it's not on radiator you will see in just a second I selected out of these three adapters basically the replacement of that cap which has the connection everything else will be for different vehicles for Toyota it was this one now let's go lower the Sienna and I will show you what finally brought that leak it's dripping right here right you see it right here it's dripping down and you can learn this for not just coolant leak this will work for diagnosing head gasket if you had a problem with head gasket you will do the same on your Toyota engine you will hook it here as I said it's not on a radiator right 
this Sienna, this generation with this 1MZF E3 liter V6 uh, it had it here and that's the cowl, cowl this this was in my way because it was right above that outlet I had to disconnect it, take it apart I lift it, I have that rubber mallet there holding it up so it's not pin pinching this tube and I was able to install the tester now of course when I was manipulating this I very slightly pulled on that and that immediately right here if you wiggle that well it loses the pressure and I had all that coolant around here so I washed it with the clear water mopped it off and now I realized the leak is actually on this side so basically you will how, how you use this right you will use this pump I can show you maybe right let's put the camera right here for just a second here is the pump and you carefully pump it I will say max 20 psi all right it's coming right just one pump move it enough I don't want to wiggle it here because that's exactly what happened so I will stop right there and for example if you had a bad head gasket you make sure the connection here it's perfect it's not bent like this right? this is a nightmare this is no no actually so you will pump it 20 and you will leave it overnight and then you will look in the cylinders and see in what cylinder you have that leak from the head gasket there will be coolant present in that cylinder and the pressure will go down for me the pressure is going down because I have an active leak it's somewhere here I will have to continue I just want to show you right what you can use for yourself in the future if you are the DIYer he uh, the, the owner put more than full you can see the coolant is more than full because he topped it off before he was coming here he overfilled it slightly so it doesn't matter but we saw from under the leak is actually on this side so I created more space it's a difficult area to get somewhere but when I put the light in and I use this mirror which I put down there uh, I gave up on trying to take a picture from under or use the mirror or whatever here you can see the lights it makes only logical sense that the crust that red stuff from the crystallization of the coolant in this case most likely long life only uh, which was right at the head gasket I will not create the worst case scenario despite the fact it's all over there you can see original thermostat from Toyota you can see hopefully the wiggle the jiggle valve it's on the top right there it's a three studs with 10 millimeter uh, nuts that held this housing it has two sensors this is the cross pipe towards to the radiator lower hose upper hose lower hose was coming right here it's all full of oil from the previous valve covers leaking but they are not leaking anymore somebody did them in past so you can see the thermostat and its gasket 99% logically it's just a rubber gasket which is bad so this is what will be replaced right now it was the fight to get to it right this is not easy it kept leaking and messing up and basically I will be not able to find this leak without this unit definitely that was not leaking whatsoever maybe it will have to be driven really hard that it will start seeping but this was absolutely priceless for diagnostic
of this problem which is very hidden buried it's not easy to get to it so hopefully this gives you perfect idea how to diagnose engine coolant leak so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please always give it a thumb up that helps to the channel and i will catch you in the next one see ya